Sorry, bunch the video? of tables scratching. Hey! Oh, and you got the video going. I got the video going. Oh my goodness. We're co-producers now. Hey. Oh, shoot. Hello. Welcome to your channel. Hey, everybody. Do you notice something different? We upgraded our crap today, folks. <laughs> our crap. It's updated. It's been updated. ring light. We got a ring light. light. Who are we? Shane Dawson? Who Shame. are we, though? Uh, still wearing that conspiracy palette. I'm oh. still here, baby. It's okay. You at least took the extra time to put on uh, makeup. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to see it all today. <laughs> Mascara. But you can actually see your eyelashes. So you like have that advantage oh, on me already. Yeah, because I, you can't see that I have them. <laughs> They're just not there if I don't have mascara oh, you know. on. And I look significantly less dead if I put some color above my eyelid. Yeah. It's like significant. It's like, oh, yeah, I know she looks normal. And they're like, oh, that's a woman. Oh, my goodness. Who is Hello, who is, who is she? she? Oh. Thank you. New piercing, I who it is? Who is she? I don't do makeup for my Zoom calls. <laughs> not for your Zoom calls. I still have to see no. people in person. Oh, that's so. true. That's very true. You do. Yeah. Yeah, more and more people by the day. <laughs> Not what we wanted. <laughs> a little bit much if you ask me. No, 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 that's totally fine. <laughs> yeah, no, I just like love seeing all these people. I love seeing them all. You know, they're out and about, doing their thing, not doing their thing, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Anywho, uh, yeah, no, we're pretty official. We got a ring light. We have, uh, I, I knew how to start that. Lisa has like a... a what do you call this? A tape recorder? No, it's not a tape recorder. It technically can be your tape recorder a without recorder. the yeah, without the tape. Yeah, so we've got like some some backup system. Yeah. Here, so oh, my, we're it, kicking you butt. know, I gotta figure out my computer software currently. I mean, I don't even know. Um, it just like it. Apparently, it's very hard to do two mics, but then I can't get one mic to work, and it's just like a whole it's thing. It's a whole thing. And so we're trying to make it simple, y'all. Yeah. here. It's simple. It's simple. Simple. That's what we're going for. But we did upgrade. Ring light. Here we are. And there's not all that, different I mean, modes. If you're listening, you're not seeing the ring light. But we're looking pretty good. Although you might, you might be interested in tuning into this one via video because um, it's gonna be. We've got some visual things. Yeah, yeah, visual things. It's gonna be on the YouTube. We you're are. Want to see what's going on behind us? The history of the world. We're creating <laughs> Monty Python's. Yeah. <laughs> Gene Wilder? Who is that? <laughs> You're so close. Mel Brooks. <laughs> oh, shoot! It's the other one. Okay. I don't um, think Gene Wilder was in that one. He didn't come um, later. You're right. Yeah. Mm. What, a, what a time in movie history. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> speaking of. Makes sense. Yeah, speaking of. <laughs> I don't have any currently. Oh. Aw. It's just intro stuff. Oh, okay, it's interesting. <laughs> you know. Yeah, Lisa taking a whole, I mean, she's going back to school, taking a whole film class. Yes, oh. currently taking classic Hollywood cinema. So, everything from uh, the silent movie days to Ooh. about the 40s, I think. 40s or 50s. Very interesting. Do you have to watch the movies? Yes. How about we, that? We haven't gotten that far oh. yet. That's why I like intro stuff. I've got nothing really to say. <laughs> We're doing Moving forward back on that. Rather than write about, writing about films. Like, oh, oh God. Wow. You gotta okay. take your first steps first. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Picking up what I'm putting I'm in. I'm not sure if we are. Well, good for you. I'm so proud of you going back and taking those classes. Yeah. Oh, sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> um, depends on the day. Oh. Depends on the day. Um, Today's oh. Saturday, so there Ooh, you go. Oh, that's true. It is Saturday. Yeah. Pull back behind the curtain. We decided... Saturday. To do something fun today. Yeah, buddy. Um, it's fun. It's right here. Yes, this is. Anyway, can you see it? Can you see it? What is that? What is that? We need Vanna White. Vanna White! She'd be like a really expensive cameo. Here, oh, she would be. Insert yeah. the Vanna White cameo. Oh, we've got a beautiful timeline behind us. Ooh, arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. Arts and crafts timeline. Um, so basically, first of all, main main topic, we're going to be giving you a timeline of early medical remedies. Treatments we're for our ailing some, bodies. Yeah, it's a little history on our medical stuff. Yeah. Medical history is what the common people call it. <laughs> I think we're <laughs> medical history. Any <laughs> pertinent medical history. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think we're going to get educated today because this was something that uh, had a lot of information. There were many, many pages of Wikipedia oh for each gosh. one of these things. So <laughs> I kept it to um, five single sheets. Mm, okay. And they're printed front and back because yeah. it's a safety environment. 
Yes, but, yes. Um, yeah, like five pages worth of information. So we're going to learn some things. And, and um, I, I did my best with these. With these, If you want to, like, argue with me about it, like, come on, if I get something wrong, like, the internet told me so. Come at us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep. Come at us. And uh, I decided, she's just going to give you the general timeline. Uh -huh. But I'm going to give you just a fun fact of something else that was happening during that time. Just a little, hey, while that was going on. We should have gotten thing. you some pocket glitter. So every time you can just be like, here's a random <laughs> fact. <laughs> oh, Ooh. the 1890s, did you hear about the cotton gin? Oh. Ask me about it. Have you heard of the Industrial Revolution? <laughs> okay. Please well, ask me That's a lot it. of energy. I've got a lot of... I think I'm burned up. i got a lot that for you. That's all. Okay. <laughs> well, I've got a nice little snack. Sam's got a nice little snack. Um, the tapes are ready. Gonna, we're just going to give you some history. history just a random it. timeline for you. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I've got nothing better to do. You clearly got nothing better to do because you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks but, for but being also, here. Thanks for being thank involved. Thank you for listening. We appreciate it. Wow. You. Seriously. If, if someone's actually listening now, I'd like to take you to lunch, please. Yes. <laughs> Again, just DM us. Tell us who you are. Tell we'll two people about it. Lunch. Tell two know. people about it. Oh, just that two. $5. Yeah. You just gotta be two people. You say, hey, listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be forceful about it, though, I guess. <laughs> listen to this. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> waterboarded by a Pure Chatter podcast. Yikes. Yikes, That's not what we're yikes. here for. Okay, so where are we starting? Where are we starting? Mm, I, I do ideally have ideally where. Ideally, <laughs> I think I think the way this is supposed to go is we're supposed to start at. Let's see, it's oh, oh it's over here. The oldest, the yep. the longest ago. Yes. Furthest from present. Correct. All the right. oldest thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to figure out like what my system is here. So basically there's are early medical remedies before we had an idea of like actual medical theory, um, the theory of germs. Yeah. Um, we learned about some things about humors, which what's a humor in the human body? Isn't Ooh. that a great question? You're going to find out. You just what wait. Is? Anywho. And so do you have a sense of it? Do you have a sense of your humors? That's probably what. You're welcome. Holy moly, like that's the etymology of that term. Absolutely. Yeah. That's exactly how that happened. Incredible. You're welcome. <laughs> Incredible. <I'm blown. laughs> More to come on that later. <laughs> so I think um, the uh, thing that I could track as early, and, and I'm just going to preface this. Let me go to the, the very, very front here. The very front? This, this is the front because I have all my sources. Um, yes, it's, yes, yes. it's based off of an article um, from healthline.com, so you can actually find this article with all of these things, and they provide oh. their own links. I did a little bit more research to um, round out the topics and give a little bit more context, but you can go to healthline.com, thanks healthline, and then for each um, thing, I also have another, yeah, a yes. secondary source. Yeah. Guinness, you can get on your throne. He has a whole extra chair next to us well, so that he can sit yeah. and... Yeah, in a pile of blankie while we're doing this. He's just this. crying because he didn't want to jump up. Goodness gracious. Great balls <laughs> of fire. All right. Um, okay, so as far back as anybody can remember, mm -hmm. um, tray panning or trepanning mm -hmm. is drilling holes into your skull. So, like, why would we do that? A little, what is it? It's a surgical mm -hmm. intervention mm -hmm. in which a hole is drilled or scraped into the human stall, uh, skull. The intentional yeah. perforation of the cranium um, was meant to treat health problems. Um, related to brain diseases or um, like blood pressure issues or if you had like an injury and your brain was swelling they would just like mm -hmm. drill a little I think I'm going to have to hold this up to the camera so they can at least see oh no it's yeah yep there you go so you can see this guy he's like real super sad but they drilled into his brain and maybe maybe cured his illness I don't know so that was mm. in 4500 BC before Jesus. <laughs> Before way, Jesus. Way back there. So, um, yeah, that's the oldest thing I have for this, this timeline. So I guess the Neanderthals back in the day were like, okay, you've got a problem. I'm just going to drill into that brain. And back then, of course, we had no idea no, then, about uh, what was happening around in there. Around that time so. is when most people think a lot of the civilizations were coming about, like Mesopotamia and Figuring Sumerian that and all that. Wild. So, yeah, so they're trying to figure out how to cultivate... Uh, their lands and try to uh, what livestock 
domesticate livestock, figure out how to yeah, keep producing this food so we don't have to go hunting the food for it. And then yeah. have it so then we can domesticate the animals to make them do the work for us. Yeah. So like a lot of that was starting to happen at that time, which means of course they're like, hey, my Tools. head hurts. What can you do for it? <laughs> I'm just gonna drill this <laughs> hole in your skull. Or they just like scraped it. They just like scraped at the bone until they can get through. Which is like really, really barbaric. Can't very, believe that. Very painful. That's I don't got anything to add to the board because I, okay. I didn't At find 4, anything. 4500 BC, what's really going hard. on? It's hard to find all, any sort of exciting tidbits. Cause From I mean, Mesopotamia, what's happening there today? You're basically hmm. finding either cave art or you're finding pottery bits. Okay. Yeah. And then trying to interpret what it all means. <laughs> what does it mean? What does that mean? They didn't um, provide like really great documentation. So. No, it's not like we can read their language really. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay, next up. Here we go. In um, 1046 through 256 BC, mm -hmm. also again, way before Jesus is going to be over here, um, mm -hmm. it was, it's like an Eastern medicine type thing, mm -hmm. animal bile. Used, oh, okay. um, yeah, in, in Chinese culture um, to treat a number of ailments. Mm -hmm. um, the World Journal of Gastroenterology uh, oh, said that python bile was, ex yeah. uh, let's see, treat ulcers of the external female genitalia. Oh. So there's that. Um, but then you can also get some from um, elephants. Okay. Elephant bile. Oh. Um, pretty much every animal, they figure out how to use like all of the pieces. And they're like, huh, this bile is like somehow therapeutic, somehow medicinal. Mm -hmm. um, dog, ox, mm -hmm. carp. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All gynecological issues, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, skin issues. Treatment of the liver. Yeah. Heart disease. Oh my God. So maybe we need to circle back to that because heart disease. And who was that doing that? Um, th that was the Zhu dynasty, uh, but it was China. Oh, China okay. way back when some of the oldest cultures. Oh, on, China. On China was been doing a lot, a lot of things before. Yes. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, Guinness! I don't know. Hey, Guinness, get over here. Elephant bile for bad breath. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who do you think he is talking to? Um, I'm who is sure. that? I don't know who he even could have seen because there's nobody here. Uh, yeah. What no. triggered him? I don't Guinness, know. Are you feeling triggered? He doesn't know either. Feeling overwhelmed. Um, I also don't have necessarily a fun tidbit about this time, except for the fact <clears> that this <throat> is when, like, we think of ancient Greece and, like, the rise of it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It actually is helpful, a little bit of context. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know what else is going on in that time frame. Okay, so the ancient the Greece. The birth of democracy. I was going to say that's like Assassin's Creed. Actually, yeah, yeah. they haven't gotten to that part yet. They were still there. They like one of those ancient civilizations. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Lisa. Got him. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. Sorry, I didn't have Let's anything. See. I have stuff now. <laughs> you got to 27 got got BC. I'm here for it. Now, got him. Now we're telling better stories. We're learning to write them down. Hi. So, therefore, Lisa has... Extra things. <laughs> um, I mean, always. Yeah, there you go. Um, oh, oh, this is really funny. Is that you were speaking of the Greeks. I want to talk about the Romans. Yes. Um, talk to me about them, Roman. Talk to me about the Romans. 27 BC. Yeah, yeah. 27 BC. I'm going to show the camera first because I think this is just like really, really great. Really funny. Y'all. Urine to whiten your teeth. Who the heck was doing this? Oh, it's the Romans. <laughs> that sounds about right. It's the Romans being nasty and vain. Okay. They are a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So um, it's because of the ammonia in urine, supposedly, that would help whiten the teeth. And it, for some reason, it was already an aesthetically pleasing thing to have whiter teeth, even in 27 BC. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so according to the Smithsonian, uh, Roman physicians believe pee, which is free, last we checked. Like, the, the, the Healthman article is actually really funny, whoever wrote it. Like, did a really <laughs> good job. Whoever was doing your vlog. He said, Fantastic. which is free, by the way. Yes. Um, it, it, they decided that it could leave your teeth white. Now, the other, of course, like, deleterious health effects to putting urine in your mouth, urine on your teeth. It's sterile, but like... But like, I don't think you should be doing it. I don't think you should. Because it's Doesn't all the stuff right. that your body didn't yeah, want. It's toxins. And Dig it out, and then you're just putting it back in. Wait, it just is a cycle it you didn't work. want. It doesn't work. You didn't want that. <laughs> God. Um, 
Well, yeah. So, I mean, there's just like a lengthy article here about um, basically all the other good things urine is good for. Getting stains out of pretty much anything that's natural. Oh, yikes. Yeah. So, like, dyes from leaves or dyes from flowers or fruits and things like that can be removed with urine. So, fun fact, if you're ever in a pinch. If you ever need to get rid of some dye and you yeah. just, like, don't have water or soap <laughs> or bleach or... Or literally anything else to whiten. <laughs> anything at all. Yeah, like, you know what? I will whiten it with my urine this time. So get fucked. Okay, so you're whitening your teeth in 27 B.C., Yes, Over I you, do. Lisa. Who's, who's Come doing to me what? At the beginning of 27 BC. Exactly. January 16th. Who is he? So I'm going to explain this picture Ooh, here okay. in a minute. Okay. Well, I'm like, is it a statue? Up? This is like surprisingly hard backwards. We yeah. get there eventually, don't we? Yep. Um, I'm going to say this as I wrote it. Okay. Yes. Gaius Octavius, a.k.a. Gaius Julius Caesar, becomes G Caesar Augustus. It's the and Caesar. The, and the first emperor of Rome. It's the Caesar. The Caesar. Happy birthday, Caesar. Not the one that got stabbed. That was oh. actually his great uncle. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Great uncle. Mm -hmm. like even older than So that. then, like, he changed his names and he, like, didn't have to associate with him anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. He got stabbed. We're, like, trying not to get with that. You know what I'm saying? Try not to get with that right now. That's not yeah. the image I'm going for. It's not days. the image we are going for today. No. Today. And then, like, um, yeah. Why is his ear blurred? Oh, so, okay, the picture is so they took, um, stat, and they took the statues that are supposed to be of uh, Caesar Augustus, and then oh. they made him human, like, gave him, like, a, what he would look like. Skin texture. Yeah. Like love, death, and robots. Yes. Oh. What he would look like. Oh, it's spooky. Yeah. Okay. Well, very interesting. Love that. You just put it right on top of the urine. TBH. I think, yeah. I think whatever you have as commentary will probably be like a, a pleasant alternative to what I have as my oh, top. No. Oh. See, <laughs> so yeah, I just cover the urine cup up there. Just cover it, guys. Cover it on up. I believe I'm on my fourth. Yes. Which would bring us now to AD. AD. Just so everybody knows, it's this and guy right here. Um. Ammo Domine. So this one, um, it's I think it's actually still being used in certain circumstances. We're talking about uh, bloodletting. Bloodletting. So oh, there it is. And leeching. So leeching is still used in practice for, I, I'm not really sure what. I didn't do research on that. I don't know what they use leeches for, but I know that they still have medicinal leeches. I, well, to think of what leeches do, right? They suck the blood out of you. So my guess yeah. is they use it to like try to suck out toxins something like that there's also some diseases that suck out cancer that you like have to um have an output of blood so like sometimes you can like go, blah, 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 go donate more often yeah if you have like some special disease or whatever oh um but yeah basically before we knew of <laughs> anything about germs or like how the human body actually worked oh, yes, um, of course. we were just yeah. <laughs> seeing what happened and they're like oh this blood stuff you know <laughs> So this is kind of where the humors come into play because that is um, kind of why they use leeches. They thought that um, it would help extract some humors. Oh. Um, basically, let's see if I can get, I should have gone through and like highlighted here. Um, let's see, so Hippocrates. I mean, Ooh. big guy, household name. Mm -hmm. We know a little bit about him. He <laughs> believed <laughs> that our existence was expressed by um, four basic elements, humors. Yep. Yeah, humors. So it is blood, yeah. phlegm, black bile, yellow bile. Okay. Okay. So each humor was centered in a particular organ. So like brain, lungs, spleen, gallbladder, related to a, pertin a certain like personality type. Yeah. And so based on the humor levels in your body predicted what kind of person you were, what you did for a job, how your mood was, so on and so <laughs> forth. Um, so every time someone was ill, it just meant that there was an imbalance of humors. Oh, nice. Yes. So uh, a sense of their humor really could be indicative of, like, how they are as a person. And maybe that's huh. why we call it a sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Huh. So, therefore, treatment consisted of removing an amount of excess humor by various means. Hmm. Various and means. And tell you what, back in the day, I don't want by various means because that means that they're cutting holes in people or bloodletting. 
Um, purging, catharsis, diuresis, and so on. Ooh. Um, it was a common treatment, uh, declared blood the most dominant humor. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, they used leeches in France mostly. That was where it like, really got popular. So, yeah, go yeah, 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 in the yeah. French. Um, so, that was, let's see, it was, yeah, in France from 1772 to 1838. It was in England. Um, Charles II was treated okay. with bloodletting via leeches. Okay. Um, he suffered a seize, yeah, a seizure. Oh, no, it was from cupping, it wasn't from leeches. But he did suffer a seizure. <laughs> I still can't say seizure. seizure. So sorry, Charles. Sorry, 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 really sorry. Not nice to Charles. <laughs> so sorry Dennis. about that. Um, yeah, so basically they just tried to mess him up a little bit. That was back in like 1630. That happened. Okay. It also, um, this bloodletting thing was used on George Washington. Um, oh, yeah, yes. As, as early as like almost 1800. That's what him. Almost 1800, oh, apparently. He had fever and respiratory distress, which what yeah, the they, heck? Yeah, I, I read it. The they heck? basically took out like four liters of his blood yeah. by doing that because they couldn't. They were just like hoping it would help, but they never replenished it. So he just Hopious died. amounts of blood. Yeah, yeah. he just literally died. <laughs> blood loss will do cool. that to you. Yep. Way to go, everyone. Old. Yeah. So great job. That's bloodletting and leeching, and it's still freaking around. So I'll it's still in. here. Still here, folks. Still here. There it is. Oh, God. That, bleh, bleh. Let's talk about this beautiful bleh. piece of art, shall we? Beautiful piece of art. Oh. That Maybe is very pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it. That looks like the um, book at the beginning of Shrek. Ooh, the fairy tale. fun. But no. <laughs> this is 150 AD. Okay. AD. So it's in your time. Oh, yeah. It's in your time. Right in the window. What's happening? Where is it? Mr. Mr. Ptolemy here. The Ptolemy. Ptolemy. Uh, the Greek, I just said Greek scientist because he did all of it. He was like a biologist. He did look at the stars. He was. He looked at the stars? He was looking Shoot. at rocks. He was. Oh, my God. He was trying to figure out what the, okay. how this okay. world works. Okay. okay. He wrote the geography. Or the geography up and the cosmographia. I did not say that correctly. <laughs> cosmographia. Okay. I also didn't say that right, but that's okay. Okay, okay. It is, I think it's considered the first atlas in general. That's impressive. And it contains the geographical knowledge of the second century Roman Empire. So like it's, it, bits of it are like all over the earth, all over earth now, like okay. in museums and stuff like that. Yeah. But basically it's like early maps of what they thought, like he was trying to map out England and so there's like wow. a really early map of England. That would probably be so cool to see. Yeah. Is it just in text or are there like maps So no, somewhere? he also wrote what, like he was talk he wrote about how to do cartography. It's an art. In there. Yes. And then he wrote it on it, which, you know, take yeah. that as you will. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. okay. So they're out here trying to okay. figure out what the world looks like. Yeah, a lot of development happening. Though. Yes, yes. Okay. They were trying to figure out things. They were very <laughs> concerned about how the world works. And everyone was dying, so <laughs> their humors were out of whack. All of them. That's what I'm going to say the next time I don't feel good, or the next time I'm just like jumping you know under the weather, I'm just going to be like, I think I'm low. I think I'm low on um, yellow bile. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to have to take a sick day today. My humors are just... <laughs> My black bile, bile is through the roof. <laughs> I need to get it's it handled. <laughs> okay. Get it handled. <laughs> get it handled. Okay. I think we're moving on to the fifth one here. Um, again, this is from the Healthline. Yes. Oh, I don't think I like went and source cited all my sources. I'll just do it at the very end. <laughs> we'll we'll cover that. Then. Don't you worry. Uh, anywho, again, the Healthline writer was just like so good. Um, so this one, seventeen eighty nine. If a bartender ever asks you to pick your poison, mm -hmm. don't pick arsenic. You pick you Boom. Missed one. Who did I miss? The lemon hundred one. Um, I think that's because that one is a range. Oh. 1100. No, I have them in the wrong order. Uh huh. No, that's number six. Yeah, well, you got wrong two, order. You got two here that are 1100 to. I know, but I had them numbered. I think I flopped five and six. 
It's a great question. But that is, in fact, the next one. We're going to pull these two bad boys to the front and see who gets pulled first. Okay. <clears throat> All right. These two bad boys. I was like, as you were saying that, and I was like, first of all, I'm not ready for that joke yet. And I was looking at what I have here, and I was like, nope, that doesn't fit in my timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Does it fit in my timeline? Okay, so forget arsenic. We're gonna talk about cocaine. <laughs> let's that, okay? let's get that for a bit. I'm so sorry. Arsenic. I need to derail let's what's talk happening about a here. White girl. Okay? Let's oh, let's talk about a little white girl. That's what they. That's a street name oh, for shoot. cocaine. White girl. Oh my god! I didn't know that. Oh my. Here is the wind driven mm, snow okay. over here. I know not of what you speak. Mm, okay. Mm, mm. Oh, okay. okay. Um, this is about um, Sigmund Freud and um, oh, his, his cherish for his contributions to psychology. Yes. Oh, um, Sigmund. Yes. So he, and uh, in addition to um, many other doctors in the 19th century, championed the use of co cocaine to treat as an ailment uh, as wait, a form wait, of depression. Wait. Right, e? And two things. Wait. Tell me. I'm trying to figure out where you're going in this timeline. It's a great question. It's going to be one of these two. 1100 to 1200 AD. Did you say the 19th century? Uh, no, that's it. It was, it was Sigmund Freud. He... I don't know. Wait a minute. 19th century doctors. He also hopped on board with cocaine. Is that what you're reading here? What would you think? Oh, I just didn't, I, yeah, no, that's fine. I just think at one point you said 19th century, and I was like, that's not correct. I think it was him in addition to other doctors, but this is the date frame that I got when they first started using oh, okay. cocaine. Okay, okay, so maybe, like, this is when it started. I'm telling you, I didn't do that on the free This yeah. is, like, maybe when it started, mm -hmm. and then Sigmund Freud and all the other doctors were like, oh, yeah, let's oh, do that. Oh, I got what because, you're saying. Because yeah, the picture yeah. for it is a, an advertisement for cocaine as a use of heroin yeah. in the 19th century, but I think they discovered it, or not heroin, cocaine, that's what I meant. Cocaine? Okay. Co cocaine? Are you about cocaine? cocaine? Yes, it's this one, cocaine for depression. We're all over the place today, folks. Haven't done a book report in, oof, many moons today. There we there go. There you go. We got it. Yeah. Cocaine, toothache drops. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, I imagine that it was probably used in the countries where it's grown naturally. Oh, and like maybe South it America, just like, yeah. And maybe it just made it to the states. If you care that much, you go research it. <laughs> I'm just bringing you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you the ear bug, okay. and then you can just go off and research it okay. yourself. <laughs> oh, Fantastic. Okay. Anywho, um, it's yeah, local anesthetic, mm -hmm. which anybody who's done a couple of maybe. maybe. Um, anywho, and general medical usefulness. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, sure. I imagine they um, had great success. It was very effective, and there you go. They had it in drop form. There you Woo! go. Wow! It's wow, 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 Daisy. Wow, wow, She's wow. been here the whole time. The whole time. The whole Did time. Did we eat the whole bully stick? Think that's what happened? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So if you're 1100 to 1200 AD, or somewhere around that. Oh, I do have it. Somewhere around that. Uh, so during that time, go uh -huh. over to Europe with me. <laughs> Into Europe. Yeah, Come over to Europe and the Americas. Okay. Uh, we were talking about the Crusades, the big war between Christians and Muslims. Okay. Yeah. Um. So because of that, ba -da -ba -da 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 -da, everybody. Right. Cool. In 1139, can you all see that? Back it up. 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 The Knights Templar was founded. Our second Assassin's Creed reference. By. French, by a French knight named Hughes de Payens and King Baldwin II of Jerusalem oh. in 1119. Okay. The papacy recognized the organization in 1139. So, Knights Templar is an actual organization that supposedly died out. Um, and I think it was, a, I think when I was reading it, it said like 1162 because... Um, things were getting, um, rumors were circling, rumors, 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 were, circling. rumors were circling around what? the initiation process of, uh, the Knights Templar organization. Did it involve, like, killing people? Um, it was, mm, no, no, <laughs> I think what people would assume would be more innocent today, but they, like, had to, like, spit on the cross several times and kind of, like, 
renounce Christ. Damn. Which, no, oh. no, 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 I not might, oh, okay. Oh, I might have to go retrieve a bully stick. Oh, no. <laughs> Please continue yourself. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. no, no, no. So that nobody dies and nobody fights. Nobody dies and nobody fights. Uh, so, basically, oh, and then there was, like, some, like, rumors about, like, homosexual acts <gasps> happening. Not the homosexuals. Mm-mm. Can't be having that in 1100 AD, guys. Not that there's anything mm -hmm. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it today, but back then, they will murder you. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> okay. so they basically, uh, I think it was this... French king rounded up a bunch of the Knights Templar that were in like this city of France uh -huh. and burned them. And then quickly after that, the Pope had to uh, shut down the organization because of the rumors. Couldn't couldn't shake the rumors. Yeah. Could not uh, shake them rumors. A little concerning to me because if the rumors are um, that unshakable, it probably means they're true. And then of course, they're as everybody doing some gay stuff. And as everybody knows, people think Knights Templar is a thing today still, and it just like continued on as a secret organization. Like rich old white to men, keep, maybe? To keep the maybe? Catholic Church's secrets. I don't know. I don't actually know. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't understand it. No, Dan Brown either. didn't tell me about it, so. Dan Brown? Yeah. The Da Vinci Code? Oh, I haven't seen that even mm. still. Is that about the Knights Templar? Um, yes. Mm. It is. Wow. And the second wow, one's wow, about, wow. The second one's about the Illuminati. <gasps> mm -hmm. Yeah, based on that um, that little paper clip I saw of a guy, I think you're also in the Illuminati. So. Um, don't tell anyone. So there! Okay, here's my other 12th century, which I think is this bad boy here. Okay. 12th century, 1100. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it gets fuzzy there. You know, my memory goes out around yeah. uh, around 1100 AD. Like what's happening so, there? Middle Ages, guys. What's happening? It's hard to talk about a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's because it's, a, my, it's hemorrhoids. That's why it's hard to talk about. You've got hemorrhoids. Uh, you've got HIV, but full-blown hemorrhoids. Mm -hmm. Oi. Yikes. Oi, oi, oi. Um, so they, they basically cauterized your hemorrhoids in the 12th century. That was the cure. That was the common <laughs> treatment. Um, here is the proof. Big yikes. Big yikes, huh? Yikes. We might get flagged on YouTube for that, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, hot iron. Just like it'll shove be, a hot iron. It'll be a quick clip. It'll... <laughs> yeah. Um, that's, that's the whole thing. That's it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That might have gone more smoothly had I only done this much research for all of them. <laughs> I'm just going to put that right in the middle. Look at it. So We've like, got hemorrhoids, <laughs> cocaine, and the Knights Templar. You've got hemorrhoids. <laughs> but the 1100s were a wow. party. Yeah, it was a party a happening. Party. I, I can't Dang. deny it. <laughs> I'm a rider. Say. You don't want up with me. Oh. I think we both sang two different songs. <laughs> Nobody. Wow, we are triggered. Right. Okay. Are you dying, Maria? Oh, he's only dying a little bit. Okay. So I guess the next one is going to be my 1789. We're going to loop on back, kids. Yeah, you are. We're going to loop on back. I did absolutely too much research for some of these. We're looping back to arsenic. Hi, we're back. Hi, we're back to arsenic. Were you wondering where we left off with that? Um, Arsenic. <laughs> it's highly toxic. That's where I left off. I didn't get to mention that the first time around. Kids, arsenic... Highly toxic. Chicago taught me that, yeah. Chicago, okay, gotcha. Well, <laughs> no one? No, no, I haven't seen it yet. I, don't, I, don't I tried to show you. I know, it. she tries. She really good. I'm, I'm working on my musicals, my musical eclectic That taste. one's got great musicals. Yes. Yeah. That one's like, yes. Oh, oh is yes? Is yes. Is yes? Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay, well, let's put it on the list. <laughs> my list of many that I need to watch. Um, let's see here. It was used, uh, arsenic was used to treat a myriad of, <clears throat> my throat is dry, a myriad of, um, issues, mm. including fevers, headaches, syphilis, and blood disease. Ooh, syphilis. Whole bunch of things. Um, it, yeah, people just gave it in small doses and then they found that it treated pretty common ailments, so they just used it as a household treatment of things. Well, and then they, you know, they'd overdo Unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, eventually, you'd overdo it, and that would be the end of that. Look at that. Warning. Don't actually take it. <laughs> don't get treated by nothing. Please don't do it. There we go. We're learning about drugs. 
we have an idea of what our issues are and how to treat them. Mm -hmm. We figure out that drugs can treat ailments. Yeah. So we're getting one step closer to ibuprofen and oxycodone. We're, and... we're figuring it out. We're like, all right, this yeah. works, this doesn't work. You can see it unfolding in the timeline. How can we mass produce this and yeah. then just get everyone addicted to it? And then how can we oh. fuck everybody yeah. over via insurance? Mm, that's all we've ever wanted. Okay. Great. That's all we've ever wanted. So, while everyone else is getting arsenic poisoning, what are you boys doing? 17. Se se 17. Se se 17. 17. 89. Oh <laughs> Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> How does a bastard or friend? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Zach, is, that one was for you. Is Hamilton related? You're welcome. Is he? Is, is he related? Um, let's see. February 4th, George Washington is elected as the first president of the United States of America. And then uh, a couple months later, John Adams takes office as our vice president of the United the States of America. Oh, yeah, he knew, he knew. Um, and then in September, the U.S. Department of Treasury was founded by no one other than Alexander Hamilton. Oh, shit. And then, what? like, eight days later, he becomes, like, the secretary of treasury. Oh, okay. Because why not? Yeah, you found like, it. You might as well take care of it. I was it. gonna say he just like made his own position. He's like, "This is what I want to do now." And, and then it was our very first Thanksgiving. George Washington oh approved uh, the National Thanksgiving Day on well, he they oh. had it on eleven twenty six that year. That's pretty special. That's how Thanksgiving came about. Yes, wow. George. How about that? This is why we like you, George. <laughs> Georgie boy. I'm so sorry they bloodletted you to <laughs> death. <laughs> to death. So what a way to go. Sorry. You deserve better than that. Georgie. Yeah, I've heard that's um that's a pretty unpleasant experience. I love those memes on Pinterest of like it's like the classical pictures like this. Yeah. And like some of them will be like of just George Washington and his wife. And his wife's like, I want more kids, George! <laughs> Oh, oh no! And then George has to be like, uh, "Yeah, shut up, Karen." No, <laughs> yeah, giving them uh, today's lingo and today's attitude. You can mm. imagine back in the day they would talk to each other like that. <sighs> I wouldn't Rips think so, but you know, no, it's it's hard to remember that these people were real people. Mm. Yeah, real people, real needs. So I suppose the next thing technically would be my um, my eighteen ninety piece of material. See if I can find that. This one, this one, this one's about heroin. Woo! So now we've learned how to use cocaine. We've learned how to use urine. <laughs> That's not really a drug, but arsenic. We're, using, we're being very resourceful. Arsenic. Ars and we moved on now. Move along to heroin. Yep. Here we are. Don't do drugs. Here's how it all started. Um, believe it or not, um, Bayer, Bayer, like the, the medication company, oh, wow. was the one who um, had uh, it advertises heroin. Like as Bear a, Grylls? No, no, no. Bear Grylls? No. Immortal. No, wow, man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. He's out there drinking his pee, not to whiten his teeth, but for sustenance, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. Um, they advertise heroin as a cough remedy for children. Okay. Um, and it says, which sounds wrong until you realize Bear's parent company helped Nazis exterminate millions of Jews. So, in the scheme of things, what's a little heroin? What? Again, that is whoever wrote the Healthline article. Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> heroin. Love that. There you go, folks. Yeah, so it was actually a German drug company. Okay. Bear is. Bear, yeah. Bear is, yeah. Um, so, in the late 1890s, uh, they commercialized both aspirin and heroin as cough, cold, and pain remedies. So, oh, dang. heroin for the win. Apparently. Here. Um, That's one way of looking at it, I yep. guess. Yeah, that is the one way. Here is here is the advertisement. Okay, We're getting so good at it. Cough syrup for kids. Do I gotta move the camera? You can't no. see that end of the... Oh, no. How is this happening? What's happening here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, maybe. There we go. That's most of it. There, you there go. we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry you guys couldn't see that part. But <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to put that right there. Well, we, it hadn't gotten there yet. So it hadn't gotten okay. there yet. That's all right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, 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 all right. I think this one comes first because you have one that is just 1898. 
specifically. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Some of them were just good ranges, but this is, psh, that's the one. Okay, this one, this one comes before this one. Yes, but yes, we're, we're hopping we're, into the future for a minute. We're going to come back to the yeah. past. We're going to hop back into the This future. is less than 200 years ago now. It's, it's really just a recent memory. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things. In the grand scheme. In the things. grand, what's 200 years? We went back to 450, or no, 4700 4, BC. So that's like more. It's a lot. Way more. It's a lot so of years. More. But so why don't you guys what come. Happens? Where? When? Come to Russia with me. Come to Russia? Come to that's Russia. A long flight. With me this way. No? Uh, oh. This oh. way. Okay, uh, uh, I think I got it. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so during the late tens, I think that's what we can call it. The late, the late tens, tens of the nineteens. World War One was happening. There you go. World yes. War One. Sure. Okay. Yep. Um, and then during that time, uh, Russia decided to have a revolution at the same time. Well, better late than never. Because huh? why not? Yeah. Um, so it was in 1918. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna bring you guys out a little bit. Um, Tsar Nicholas Romanov II and his family were executed by the Bolsheviks. Oh no, not the Bolsheviks. And that started the rise of socialism. Wow. In the USSR. Okay. That was like musical, beautiful. <laughs> the Beatles back in the USSR. Nobody. No, 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 nobody. nobody. Uh, no one. No, yeah. <laughs> no, no, said no one ever. No, 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 no. I also felt like featuring him because it's my favorite now Disney movie. It wasn't oh. Disney before, but it's Disney now. <laughs> Disney bought it. Okay. Anastasia. Yeah. 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 Okay. The idea I still that, need to watch that too. The idea That's that amazing. the youngest Romanov somehow escaped and like l ended up being an orphan and like living her life. Oh, so her bloodline might be floating around out there. So it does wow. start that conspiracy wow. theory. Wow. Correct. Okay. I feel like it's a conspiracy theory I could probably get in on. Wow. Beautiful. By the way, please notice all of these gorgeous pictures that Lisa took when she was in Ireland on her trip. Probably yes. see more towards the beginning, but here Probably. we are now. Probably. With our timeline of vulgar things. So sorry, Ireland. So, so, so sorry. Shout out to Ireland. Hey, Ireland. Yeah. How you doing? Gosh. Okay. I like to say hi oh, to God. whoever's in Germany listening to us. It's very nice that you're listening to us. There's somebody in Germany? Huh? Who the heck? Who is it? Make yourself known. I need but to know. Seriously, who the heck? Maybe they do that like Express VPN thing, not sponsored by the way, where you can like get a different IP oh, address. Oh yeah. Who's oh. listening to us through all that? Goodness gracious. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember what the other one was. We just have. I don't know. Oh. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember it either. But it's like a sponsor for podcast most of the time. Um. Let's see here. Let's see here. So this came from the court of. The Pitt Rivers Museum. Oh man! Um, so basically, the the medical remedy is um, the snail goo. Ooh, like the goo that goes along with a snail or a slug can actually treat warts that like the kind that grow on your hands or on your toes or whatever. Oh. Um, yeah. So if you, um, it was like a, a real like mythy magical remedy because yes. the snail had to crawl on you. You had to leave it on there, and then you had to impale <clears throat> a slug of a snail on a rose thorn stick. And that that does sound it. like a witch's brew. Uh, that's a little witchy. It's a little, a little witchy. witchy. Yeah. So they still have the, like a slug impaled on a rose thorn, just oh. like on display in this museum. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Basically. Yep. There he goes. That's, that's the Snail whole thing. Goo, Snail goo. Look at how Snail cute he is. Goo. Ooh, right in the middle, huh? Snail slime. Got him. Slime. 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 We're getting to the very end of our little, we sure are. Our little guy here. Great. If I great, don't, sweetie. I don't say so nice. A mom right journal. Doing amazing. I hope Daisy didn't need the rest of that bully stick. I don't know what she's doing. Daisy? That's a great question, always. What was going on in 1898? Does anybody know? Anybody? <gasps> Lisa. I didn't. You might know. I might. Ooh, <laughs> you might know that thing is who. Mm. Have you heard of a little girl? Know? Little girl named Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley. Oh, look at this bad bitch. <gasps> I love her. Wow. Okay. Tell me about her. Uh, well, Annie Oakley, she has quite the life story, but um, 
basically at seven started hunting and tracking. Um, and then at like age 15, I uh, shot this guy like as a shooting contest and like she did way better than him. Damn. He started courting her and they got married. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, and then Can we, we have an Annie Oakley episode, please? Yes. Uh, <laughs> joins Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Yep. 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 People know who she is. Yeah. Uh, so she, uh, in 1898, folks, Annie Oakley promoted service of the service of women in combat operations for the U.S. Oh, wow. Armed Forces. So she was writing letters to President McKinley to try to get women yeah. in the armed forces. Yeah, because, because we're better shots than men. <laughs> who literally said that she would... Round, round, round up her own set of women and that they could send them to Spain. Yes. Where that's who we were at war with, I guess. She literally wanted to go be an assassin on behalf of the country. Yeah. Like, how cool is that? What a yeah. bad bitch. Uh, he, he declined. Oh, come on. Yeah. McKinley. Yeah. And then okay. she just kept doing her shooting show. So, I mean... Alright. You go, Annie Oakley. Make that money. Yeah, Annie, get your Retire. Gun. That's based on her oh, wife. Oh, shit. But anything you can do, I can do better. You oh. Anything you can do, I can do too. Okay. Yeah. Shit, man. Annie Oakley. I mean, that's Annie not Annie Oakley, but it's about her. That's about her life. Like, loosely, wow. but it is. Yeah, no, I would actually love an episode on her. I would love to know more yeah. about her. It is like, a, oh, it, great, history lesson. It is in that time frame. <laughs> it is, yeah, that, that's all I like. It's like early American history. It's like it. Yeah. You know, like, kind of history. <clears throat> Guys. Last but not least. Hello. Um, they used uh, mosquitoes infected with malaria to try to cure people of syphilis. However, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yep. Okay. It was an, uh, an Austrian uh, physician who did that in the 1920s. Mm -hmm. Um, malaria induced fevers that could help treat syphilis. So I think the argument behind that would be like if your body gets too high of a temperature, then some germs can't survive. Uh, and so by raising your body's temperature with a fever, you would kill off those germs. And then when you got over the malaria, which they knew how to treat supposedly, right. uh, then you would no longer have syphilis. So, figure out malaria. six to know. one, half a dozen of the other. See if it works. He actually won a Nobel Prize for this, also. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's handing him out to know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm sure that was great feats in science. Um, yes, a lot of people died in the process of, you know, troubleshooting this. Mm -hmm. um, but, mm -hmm. yeah, he won a Nobel mm -hmm. Prize for that. That was like there doing the whole tuberculosis thing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, where it's like, yes. oh, they have to have open air. So, like, all the asylums or whatever, they have, like, no windows on some floors. Because, like, they, like, that, they thought that would cure them as if they had fresh air all the time. Okay. They're just trying to figure it out, you know? Yes. I'll figure it out. I'll but figure just it, out. it out. And it seems like doctors literally just, like, fucking winged it. And whatever, like, oh, that could work. They just did it. Yeah. Didn't care about who died in the process. And everybody knew that it was an experiment. It's ridiculous. Supposedly. It's ridiculous. Supposedly. Uh -huh. But during this time. What's going on? During what this else time? is happening? We'll take you back to film history for this very last nice little... Bit. I love it. You know, Give me the it. film history. Give it to me. In the 1920s, we start seeing it. what we what we normally would call movies, but at the time we called them talkies. <gasps> because of course they were silent beforehand. I mean, silent they movies. But now they talk. And now they talk. So they're talkies. Mm -hmm. So the very first talkie ever. Walkie talkie. It's because they're talking. I can get this right. Ooh, with a jazz singer? A jazz singer. <gasps> I also made sure I chose this one. Uh, the jazz singer is often studied and uh, critiqued because it does use quite a lot of uh, blackface. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, it goes with the story that they're trying to say, but I'm not, it's also the time. Yikes. That's what they did. What a time, the 1920s. That's what wow. they did. It was the first talkie. Also, during this time, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh <gasps> was published. Oh, that's... Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. And then the very first animated short film, also. 
made its appearance. Okay. Can you guess? <laughs> Snow White. No. 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 Oh, it was a Steamboat Willie. Yeah. Oh. It was still Disney, y'all. It was still Disney. Oh, that it dude. Was still Disney, y'all. Yeah, Walt Disney. They almost went out of business like so many times. <laughs> Like, they just, like, all the animators would quit all at once, and then he'd have to restaff everybody, but he never gave well, up his pipe dream, and look where he is now. Maybe look inside yourself. Huh? Cryogenically and you're frozen. Not anymore, but like, I mean, Austin Powers. Hmm. Austin Powers for sure. We both just went on, like, really <laughs> steady tangents next to each other, but they didn't overlap at all until we got to the end, and we're like... Because I assume hmm. that, you know, right now, <laughs> Walt Disney is unfrozen watching this, like, excuse me! <laughs> I am not a bad manager, young lady. Maybe he's the listener in <laughs> Germany. Mm. Maybe, maybe Walt. it's Walt Disney. So, Walt Disney, if you're listening, <laughs> hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a big fan. We're all big fans. Lisa, Lisa, very big, big fan, fan of Disney. Yes. Yeah. yes. Feel Reach free out. to come back out say, hey, guys, you're right. <laughs> I was frozen. <laughs> uh, but I'm over here in Germany now. <laughs> I'm doing my own thing, you know? Oh, I'm just, like, stealing it out, you know? Oh, God. Okay. Yep. I got nude beaches here, you know? Oh. That would be something Walt would be into. He was kind of a weirdo. Yeah. From what I've heard. From what I've read. I love, like, all the pictures of him. Is not He's not doing a peace sign. And just they just photoshopped his cigarette out of his hand. Yeah. So <laughs> it just that looks because... like he's always peace signing people. Oh, okay. All I don't right. know. It's just me holding my cigarette pointing in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Hell hath no fury like Walt Disney. Mm-mm. Walt? Mr. Disney? Again, big fan. <laughs> Come on out. <laughs> Come on out hiding. Well, I feel pretty educated. I hope you guys enjoyed that timeline. Um, I tried to make it fun. Entertaining I, really I, folks. Yeah. There's some weird shit happening long, long time ago. It was kind of cool to see the progression of our understanding of, you know, the body yeah. and medicine and how journeys Everything's were. trial and error. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally. Or, yeah. Oh, this flower looks good. You eat it. He died. Okay, nobody eat the red flowers. Killed Billy uh, the other day. <laughs> and this flower stained my bed sheets, but I peed on it, so then the stain came yeah, out. So I wonder if this also will work on my teeth. There you go. Has anyone thought about drinking their urine? Anyone? It's just applying it, it to It looks your kind of okay. Big yikes. Big, big I'm sure they were not well hydrated back in the day. I'm sure it did not look good. Well, the water, they had a hard time treating the water... Right, so then, like a lot of a lot of times, like back in the medieval times, like you mostly have like beer or wine all the time. Freaking wild! Their pee must have been like a dark, dark yellow. Yeah, I don't know how they did it. Good golly! I don't know how they did it, folks. Well, what? They also they also died early. So (laughs) yeah, yeah, that's a thing to think about. We'd be like on death's door right now. Yeah, having made it this far. But now they're telling us to just. Eat and die. Eat healthy. Eat kale. Exercise. Drink your water. Take these supplements. Oh, supplements. <laughs> Rub crystals all over you. <laughs> Manifest. Man- Meditate. Manifest. <laughs> Get your little thing of sage. Cleanse the house today. Intuitive <laughs> eating. <laughs> Body positivity. <laughs> Food positivity. Wow. You do deserve that piece of ice cream. I just want to like throw it out there. Um, <laughs> Dr. Drew has a podcast called Dr. Drew After Dark, and he and Christina Peer um, emphasizing their um, they creating revolution, the rational revolution, where all of basically what we just said, just like yeah. making fun of all of these things. They're just like, hi, yes, this is bullshit. We should probably be like bullying these people or something. <laughs> Dr. Oz, we're looking at you. Oh my god, Dr. Oz. Well, I remember watching okay. Dr. Oz and it was like, yeah, it was very easy to hop on like whatever train he was yeah. selling that day. Because yeah. he's a handsome man who happens to be a doctor man. that who he can control. To be a doctor. Yeah. And you're all like, doctor, yeah, I'm trusting you to give me information, but he's like, it's a bad diet. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to talk about it. Maybe the science adds up. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> but you're going to give me a paycheck and I'm going to be okay mm-hmm. with it. Who knows? There's your who morals knows? for Dr. Oz. Yikes. Yikes. Big And I'm finally canceled. Never made it. Done. We never made it. We're going to get banned. Did it die? Did um, it go away? I don't know what happened. Oh. Okay, bye. I think it's still recording. It's just, uh, it just died. It did that. Okay, well, yeah. But on that lovely note, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Team Dr. Oz? Are we shaming Dr. Oz? Um, I, I just have issues with Dr. Oz, and I hate the fact that I was duped by him. You were duped? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah we, bought, we bought those raspberry ketones <laughs> or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, All right. Wow. I know. Just neighbors. Just neighbors. Bas- yeah. No, basically, ketones. we were... We, yeah. If, yeah. if, like, we felt like the science sounded right, my mom and I were like, we could try to We could we do that. Uh-huh. And I, yeah. Yeah, and he has the authority and all the following to be, like, preaching these things, and it's wrong if, it, if it's not factual, if it's not true. So... Honestly. Yeah, I guess we're I guess we're not team doctor. But I don't think he's on the air anymore. So I don't know what happened to him. I haven't seen him. I literally think that came Ooh. out that like he was just like, pay me. <laughs> yeah, like not looking into the shoot. diets. Oh shoot. Okay, well I'm just team Doctor Drew then. Well, I Doctor mean, Drew Pinsky, he was on the Mass Singer. Yes. That makes him a good guy. Of course, Bald Eagle. If you were yes. wondering. Uh huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Keep them jeans high Freaking and tight. Hmm. Freaking Hanson, the Russian <laughs> dolls. <laughs> Such horse girl energy. I yeah. can't believe. <laughs> can't believe. <laughs> there was Hanson? You don't even know. That, that we're just watching the First of all, you were like, like, Hanson? Oh my god. And then you're like, Darius Rucker is Hootie? <laughs> the can't handle. I didn't know. Yeah, that was like mind blowing. I'm like, his, he's beautiful. He's a beautiful he's man. He's a beautiful you man. You can't hold my hand. Oh, I'll cry. <laughs> Come hold my hand. Hootie. I will cry. Hootie. Definitely will <laughs> cry. Hootie. Goodness gracious. Uh, okay. Well, everybody, thanks for Ooh. listening. Thanks for listening to our weird timeline today. Hope you learned it some things. Weird. I learned a few things. Hope you, you know, we at least expanded your trivia knowledge of random <laughs> facts and figures. Yeah. Give you no figures. So the next time facts. you talk about pee with somebody, you could be like, oh, do you know in 27 BC, the Romans mm-hmm. used it to whiten their teeth? Like, that's yeah, good. Water cooler talk. Hello. Okay. We're all, some some people, not me, not me personally, some people are getting back into the office, right? Oh, yeah. like, they're not yeah. working virtually. Now you got something to talk about. Yeah. Like, oh my God, have you listened to this podcast? Yeah, just pull one of these every I single day. I learned time. something today about urine. Don't drink it. It's just been stuck in my head on repeat. I'm like, why? Why and how? For what, though? I just, I just like the curiosity of just like... I'll try sure, it. Just, just dunk yeah, it. Yeah, just gargle it, swish it or around. like nowadays we're like... Um, is this clear great? Uh, how much hair is it? Is there any chance that this shared a box truck with a peanut? <laughs> is what I I'm can't asking. Have it. I am allergic. I can't. Have it. I know. I know. It's it's legit. It's real. I'm being an asshole. Cancel me. It's fine. We've been canceled. Canceled oh before we came. Producer on. Guinness is here. Hi. 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 Just, oh my goodness. Are they just gonna see your tail? Yo, we should hail. Uh, no, I think you can see his little head. Oh, okay. Cute boy. Wow. All right. Okay. Follow us on the gram. Yes, we follow have us on the gram. <clears throat> on the gram. On the gram. Yeah. Um, uh, we might be doing another tournament bracket. Uh, just saying. <gasps> Ooh. Maybe I've got some ideas. Maybe That's I don't. Ideas? I don't know. You know, okay. things flow in, things flow out. I guess you should watch, and then you'll find out. Yes. Follow I mean, us on the gram, at look, Pure Chatter Podcast. And then, you know, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I think, I think we're going to have some fun things coming up this summer. Hello, maybe. Hello. Maybe some fun things. There's some, Maybe some fun things on my side of things. Probably. Maybe some fun side on your side of things with mm-hmm. a tiny house and one now. Tiny house and... Tiny house. I just have wedding things happening. She but sure I mean, does. You got I mean, wedding things. You've got school things. Oh my god. There's a lot of things happening here. It's a busy though. time. But we might be giving you some more things. So there you go. Oh my gosh. So like all the things, share all the things. And text us. And maybe text us all the things. Yep. Know. Yep. All the things. Meet me for lunch if you're the one in Germany. Yes. Let's figure this out. Who are you? Who is it? <laughs> Tell me. Tell me now. <laughs> Okay. All right. We'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.